What is up everybody in this video we are talking about the greatest running shoe of all time. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing people? Let me know in the comments and get ready for it. This is where you come in. I want you to put in the comments your most favorite, best, most loved running shoe you have ever owned. Put it in the comments. Now everyone's gonna say to me, Fully, it was a glide ride for you. Well, here's the thing, that's true. And we'll come on to that in a little bit. But there is one shoe, one shoe, everybody always says that they loved the most and here it is guys the nike pegasus turbo 2. now this from everybody i see in terms of comments on this channel is the best daily trainer that has ever been or one of the best it's all obviously opinion but do you agree is the nike pegasus turbo 2 the best daily trainer that is or daily not just every daily trainer best running shoe of all time let me know in the comments there's something about this show i don't know it's just awesome so a couple of years ago they came out with the nike pegasus turbo um and then they updated it the following year with the turbo 2. now what we've got here is we've got a slab of zoom x mixed with react so it's like two layers we've got zoom x and then we've got react the reacts there to add a little bit of stability with the zoom x you've got an incredible mesh upper on the shoe uh, you've got a sort of barely there but enough traction on the outsole and it's just set up to be a lightweight racing daily trainer it offered everything you could Wear this for daily miles, you could race in it, you could you could do everything. So my sort of, what's the best way? Uh, yeah, the best comparison right now is the Saucony Endorphin Speed. I think this is, this is the sort of OG uh, of the Saucony Endorphin Speed. And Nike, for whatever reason, gave up on this shoe. And I, I never understand why, and we'll come on to where we think this is going in terms of the next evolution of the Pegasus Turbo 2. It just feels incredible on feet. It is a quick turnover. You get that Zoom X just kicking you along. It looked awesome. They came out with some amazing colors. I had the lime green or whatever color it was that they dropped in originally. Then I got this pair. Uh, and this pair is basically sat in the museum now. The Shoeys, Shoeysium? Is that even a word, Shoeysium? We need to name the museum, people. Let me know in the comments what we should call it. Um, because the glide ride's in there. We've got the sketches in there. Um, and some of the other shoes. We'll go through them actually today. Um, but yes, I've just totally digressed. But the uh, Pegasus Turbo 2 was just, I don't know. It's just an a, amazing piece of engineering. I'm going to weigh this. 8.1 ounces. <laughs> Lightweight, daily trainer, Zoom X. Just think about it. If you was never able to get a pair of Turbos or Turbo 2s, you really missed out. They went lightweight design all the way around it. You've got a racing tongue, racing heel, there's a little bit of padding there. But there was, it was soft enough and durable enough to use as a daily trainer. They did have some problems in the fin at the back where they sort of glued it together. That broke away a lot. If you was ever taking your shoes off using your foot, which you shouldn't do, but you'd pull the heel off. But apart from that, these things lasted forever. And I know now there's still people running in these. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those people that are still running in the Pegasus Turbo 2. But I think this, along with you guys, is one of the best daily trainers ever made, if not the best running shoe ever made. So let me know in the comments, what is your all time favorite running shoe? Is it the Pegasus Turbo 2? Is it the Clifton 1? Have you got like the Nike Pegasus 33, 32 that was just a hit? And I said, I talk about the museum and just looking over there now, we've got a Pegasus up there, we've got the Alpha Fly, Vapor Fly, Nike 4%. What about that shoe? That was one of the first carbon racing shoes that came out. Hang on, stay there, I'll get it. 
Look, here it is. Isn't it just a wonder? Flying it upper, Zoom X carbon plate. It got absolutely destroyed around here, um, but it was an epic, epic shoe. Let me know. Did you have a pair of these? Just wait while we're here. Is this the greatest shoe of all time? I don't know. 7.35 ounces. Is the Alpha Fly the greatest shoe of all time? You could argue it is. Why? Because Kipchoge went sub two in it. Does that make it this, uh, the greatest shoe of all time? I go back to this because this was a daily trainer, so you could use it for everything. That's why, you know, it is arguably the greatest shoe of all time. I grabbed while I was up there the Pegasus. Now, these are my Pegasus. Now, I'm going to have to check which model it is. I swear these are the 32. Let me know in the comments, people. Are these at the 32 or the 33s? You'll know probably more than me because um, I can't remember for the life of me. But these are Nike ID. I got these and I ran London Marathon one year. They've even got salt on them from the sweat from my feet. They're an incredible shoe. Really are. And I got them personalised for my kids. And then obviously we come on to the Glide Ride. Now this is a relatively new shoe. But is this the greatest shoe of all time? Well it is probably for me because... I, well, not only do I feel like I achieved a lot in it, I went from sort of that, I don't know, struggling to get my marathon, half marathon times down into really knuckling, to, knuckling down to do some proper training. And I felt like the glide ride really helped me on those long runs. It was that heel to toe transition on those longer runs. I was just able to eat miles up and it just did everything that I wanted it to do. I could pick it up, but I just was able to eat miles. And it really, I think, helped me overcome those sort of tr marathon training blocks, half marathon training blocks that I always used to struggle with uh, when I used to get to those longer miles. And that's why I, I hold the Glide Ride in such high regard, high regard on this channel. Uh, it just, it was a shoe that for me just, just worked wonders. And I know there's a lot of fans out there. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting topic. And I wanted to talk about it because you guys keep saying about the Pegasus Turbo 2, even though it's no longer available. And this is the thing, Nike, you missed the trick by not coming out with the Turbo 3. But here's the thing, we've got the Streak Fly coming. Now, is that going to be its replacement? Now, the Streak Fly is a rumoured racing shoe uh, with a big load of uh, Zoom X on it, but lower stack height than the Vapor Fly. So, is that going to be the new Pegasus Turbo, tra um, Turbo Trail? Actually, saying that, there is going to be a, a trail version, allegedly, uh, if you believe anything you do on Instagram, which you probably shouldn't, of the um, Vapor Fly. So, you know where everybody's making these sort of super fast carbon plated trail shoes? Apparently, Nike going to be doing the same. I don't have that for uh, any information properly on that. I just saw it on Instagram and Twitter. Um, but anyway, the, um, they dropped the ball by not making the Zoom 3. Totally for, uh, I forgot where I was, not the Zoom 3, the Pegasus Turbo uh, 3. They came out with the Zoom Fly, that's what I meant to say. And I personally think that was a bit of a dud. Uh, you had the Zoom Fly 3, they're about to go Zoom Fly 4, uh, which will be interesting. Now that had React foam in it before with the carbon plate. Let's see where they go with that. Looks a little bit different to where they've had it before, changed it up, but the other shoe was too heavy. But I just go back to my original point and why I made this video. Because this shoe, for you guys and myself, is just an epic, epic shoe. So that's it. I wanted to make a video about it. But I really wanted to make the video to get your input. And that's the key to this video. You guys keep commenting about the Pegasus Turbo 2. So I want to know in the comments, what is your number one running shoe of all time? For me, it's the Glide Ride. No doubt about it. It is the Glide Ride. Yes, I love the Zoom Fly, the um, 4%, because of what it did in terms of carbon plate, and it changed the way in terms of marathon shoes and all that. I love the Pegasus. Uh, the older versions, not the new versions. But the Pegasus, because it was my go-to trainer for when I was starting out in running. But the Turbo 2 was a fantastic shoe. I ne don't necessarily high, hold it in as high a regard as you guys. I love it. There's no doubt about it. I absolutely love it. And I understand 100% why you guys absolutely dig it. And yes, it probably was one of the best daily trainers, if not the best daily trainer of all time. But I want to know from you. Let me know in the comments. I can't wait for this video to drop and for you guys to fill me in on what your ultimate all-time greatest running shoe is.